Well, you, uh, the um, refining's going on. That's a bonus. Hey, you got one already. That's a, it's quite rare to get one straight away as well. <laughs> You're Wait, the... did it just drop one out already? Yeah, we we have twenty two. We got twenty three now. Yeah, but how is that possible if it hasn't got enough to process yet? No, they're processing these. Oh, days, you right? mean over here we got one? Yeah, they're quite rare to pump it out, which is quite. We got one quite fast, which I wasn't expecting. I kind of want to double this. Definitely but I don't know that that'll this. help anything because... It will because the, well, it'll increase the throughput, it'll... so... Yeah, but we don't have that... Oh, actually, we do have quite a bit. Um, yeah, I'm just going to blueprint it and, and double this production here. Here, just do the side, it'll be fine. There they go. And you can never have enough centrifuges at this point in time to get the actual material being made. What did I set it to? Oh, I 500. said it's a greater than or equal to four. Wait, what? You got the your, your raw material you're on about, aren't you? Oh, I was saying the centrifuges, they're set to four. Ah, okay. Also, we're not making speed module threes. I don't think. Wouldn't it be better to use efficiency, uh, not efficiency, um, productivity modules and get more stuff out of them? Probably. <laughs> Will they take productivity modules? Well, they're an intermediate product, so it should do. Modules add speed, energy consumption, production bonus. Yeah, it should. I think it just took my speed module and put it somewhere else. Top uh, left one. Yeah, my <laughs> robots are automatically <laughs> taking them from me and putting them in the other machine. I don't have any on me, so it's not going to do anything. Uh, right, so... <clears throat> so somewhere in the system, there were at least two... Which is nice. Hmm. If we can get productivities in, like I say, well, at least we can produce more. It might take longer per unit, but we might get two or something out instead of one or something out. And given that uranium the deposits are actually quite rare overall. I we... mean, we could do beacons, but I don't really know anything about how beacons work, so... Uh, My beacon... thoughts are we put... <clears throat> I'm thinking we put one speed module and one in each and one production module. Yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Because you'll get some, we get bonus every so often just for having the productivity in there. Exactly. Um, I don't have any productivity, do you? I do not. I don't, I don't think we're now. making them. Let's just find out in a second. Give me productivity Maybe three and just... productivity two and a productivity one. We should just eat up all the rest of the green and red chips. Well, there's that as well. I'm just seeing what they've got. I mean, I can make productivity modules. I just can't... Uh, I want to see if they're actually automating anywhere. But I don't think they are. No one's delivered anything. And I'm usually pretty good at pretty fast at getting deliveries here. No, we've automated speed one. And I think <clears throat> that's all the modules we've automated so far. This build is what's eating all the red ships. Oh, right. Purple science. That's, yeah, that's kind of important. There we go. Purple science and blue chips is eating up all the red chips. I've just, I just realized that none of the um, centrifuges were getting uh, uranium ore on the left side because they weren't there when the original request was put in place. Mm -hmm. So I just picked up all the uranium, put it in the inventory, thought to trash it, and it went in everywhere like a star. <laughs> there we go, we're definitely producing more now. And we're definitely not automating uh, any of the productivities right now. Which is fine, I suppose. But, <clears throat> yeah, that's all going. Okay, so where's that train? Is it? I'm curious how, how fast it fills up. That's the refill, not that one. Uh, not very fast. Uh, it's currently got 1.6 in the front and 600 in the back. Because I'm not splitting it evenly. 
It doesn't really matter if it's being split evenly in a way. I mean, it's not going to fill up. I mean, it's got a lot in it, though. Overall. I love the fact there's two, um, two inserters that don't actually have chests there. Really? Yeah. I put them the That them. was probably my mistake. <laughs> He's the I got to head back out there anyway. Did okay. we ever decide whether or not we have uh, solar or not solar? Uh, what was I trying to say? It was over here. I just thought. Oh, solid fuel. Did we ever decide if we're still making solid fuel? We are. We're making uh, roughly a chest, one chest full of solid fuel. Okay. But there's two. And chests, are we making but... sulfuric acid? Yep. Are, like, are we making enough sulfuric acid? Because this train is draining us, and we're not really using that much out here. Uh, I doubt we make a lot. We're, it's not something you get to plan for, really. It's something you need for batteries, really. So, yeah. Have a look. We have two. We have four sulfuric acid producers right now. That's it. And our tanks are empty, basically. <clears throat> the batteries were using it, but they obviously they were backing up nicely. Um, I could try and fit another one in here. I can replicate that quite easily, I think, without worrying about it. I will try and blueprint it, make it better. Uh, this may not go well. This is really stupid, but it's bugging me, so I'm going to fix it. <laughs> cancel that one, cancel that one. Uh, that should hopefully do what I wanted to do. Put it over here. Did I do that right? Did I evenly balance one lane into three? Where you at? Where? Where Back out at the... Um, at the uranium outpost. Uh, yes, that's I think about. that's how you do it. Yeah, that's about right. Because you just take the fourth line and feed it back in. Yes, so the fourth line, feed it back into itself. It'll uh, technically never empty, but that's how it's, that's how it's supposed to work. <clears throat> right. <laughs> I mean, it would empty if there was not additional input. Like if I cut this off, it should empty every I mean, the other. Alternative one. is to build the, um, the the triangles I use for the that you've got up there. I use for the inserts. And then you can split down just into this? two lines. Yeah, if you did that, you have two of those, and then you just take a single line with a splitter, and it'll be evenly split between the two anyway. Yeah, I guess. But that way is the right way of doing it as well. It's, it's a way of doing it, should we put it? Okay. Either way works. Exactly. This will at least get the train filled evenly, so we don't end up like this, where there's 2k in one of them, and 1k in the other, and the chests are filling up on the first half. Exactly. So it, it works. There's no problem with it. Uh, put that there. I'm impatient, so I'm going to bring this back with me. Good. Good. I'm impatient, and yeah. <clears throat> what are you? What are you making that needs uh, those those things? I'm not doing good with words tonight. <laughs> Chemical Please. plants. That thing. Um, I'm expanding the uh, sulfur production. Uh, sulfur acid production. Ah. I don't think we actually need it right now, just because the train is not full, but also it doesn't need to be because the the base out there is completely full, so it's just basically coming back here but I want already to, mostly We probably full. want more um, production anyway. Yeah. More, um, we probably want more production, but we also probably want to get more um, uranium coming in, which means we'll definitely need more uh, production at that point. Mm-hmm. Are chemical plants being automated? I'm not sure, because uh, this... Is is what being automated? Chemical plants. I don't think that they are. I think we've just handcrafted them when we needed them. Yeah, because they're, they're putting pipes down, but they're not putting them down. One, two, three, four... Five, Would you like five, them? Seven, eight, nine. We've eight, got all the nine. materials up here for them, so I can just throw eight, them together. I just need nine, basically, to finish the build-off. Automation would be good, though, if we can replicate it in the future, so... Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Not a not a problem. Maybe if I knew which pipes were supposed to be which, though. I think the top ones are this. petroleum, bottom ones are water. Good. Like that. And this is just going to make 
pipes. Where's pipes? Pipes. Pipe, pipe, pipes. So I think. Yeah. So I think if I do one of these and one of these. One of these and one and of these. And one of these and one of these. Uh, okay, need to get the water pipe over here, and they get the acid, the acid. Need to get the petroleum pipe over here. Petroleum pipe there would be awesome. Thank you very much. To there, yes, they meet down that way. To there, there. Okay. What are you missing? Just the. Oh, uh, just... you're missing steel. Oh, for you, me. Oh, not you. I was asking. <laughs> yeah, I was asking this thing what it's missing. So he asked me what I'm Luckily, missing. there is already a. <laughs> okay, that's that bit done. Well, no, what you're, water, what so you're missing could be a rather long list. It's not a long list. It's just a list you don't want to get into right now. <laughs> yep. There uh, we go. You. Damn it. Too far away. Break, break, break. And put it underground there. And put. Pipe there, and hopefully water. Yes. I want to. I want to come <clears> down <throat> and see what you're doing. I need a pipe, a power cable, just to connect you up. And I need a power cable to connect you two together. Hello. And then to bring so the... pretty. <laughs> and then I need a splitter there to bring the materials down. Oh, for iron. Yep, and copper. And they're split it there. That's <laughs> backwards. And we both just split it down at the same time. There we go. I don't know who it came out of. <clears throat> it was One of us had was it. side of mine, so. <laughs> right, that should be everything they need. Just need the rest of these uh, machines now. Wait, but they're not hooked up to everything, I haven't, are they? No, I haven't packed them into the uh, tank yet. I've just I've just fed, I've just only fed one half of the uh, raw material. I'm gonna do the other half of the raw material in a second, and then the output the output feeds need to get into that pipe to your left. Yeah. If you do the output I feeds, saying. I can get the finish the input feeds off. Sure. Because the input feeds are easy anyway. Because it's just an underground belt and then some pipe. I get the easy job. And then underground pipes from there to there. They're operational. <clears throat> uh, as soon as I put some normal pipes in here. There we go. And there we go. That should That's basically doubled the output of uh, sulfuric acid. Because there were only those two up there earlier, which are just copy and pasted down here. Excellent. And we are uh, to nearly a thousand uh, sulfuric acid now, and it's increasing. So, excellent. That tank over there. Is the only tank this thing is still draining. Yeah, I mean, it, it went up to a thousand and down. It was there was no more than four hundred before, so it's definitely uh, an increase. Right, we're just using a lot of it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's all of it. I want to see if this train is full. Once this train is full, we're going to have a lot of excess. Well, the thing is, because there's six tanks up here, plus the six tanks in the train that you're trying to fill. Yeah, but the thing is, once this train is full, it disappears. It probably won't come back for for more for a while. Right. <clears throat> Do you have any pumps on this to help keep these tanks topped up? Do we need it? Uh, not really, but I it mean, helps keep the pressure up. The pumps are just going into the train, but if the train leaves, it should just fill the... Well, and I don't know that we want to prioritize this over, like, batteries, for example. Well, we'll see if we had a pump up here... <clears throat> oh, not, not necessarily here, down there. I meant we can put a pump on it and say if the tank down by the batteries gets below a certain value, the train doesn't get anything. Prioritize, okay. the, prioritize the batteries over the. Uh... Oh, so you're saying put not to put the pump up here, to put the no, pump no. down there. Pump down there and then say if the if the tank next to the uh, batteries runs below a certain value, let's say five hundred. Uh, shut then, off the train. Then shut off the train supply. Because that way the batteries, which gotcha. are critical for a lot of other things, don't get to... Uh, um, this line here. So. Yes and no. This this particular line is also feeding uh, whatever JD built. Ah! Ah! I'm going to get suffocated in all these pipes. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so right here is where we should put the pump. What else is he feeding off to? I don't know. I didn't try to chase it. I just know he went all the way across the map with it. Uh, okay, that one goes to dead end, to the north. This goes into a... I have no idea what that's supposed to be. If... And that goes off towards... See, yeah, okay, that's for, me, that's for making something with the the map. So... <clears throat> So what's a good number? Like two thousand? Uh, yeah, two thousand pretty decent. Yeah, and then I just need to run the wire down there, which I should be able to do. Oh, you just put a tank up here and save mm -hmm. one thousand. <clears throat> oh, I I meant I wanted to run it down to that tank. I know what you meant. I'm saying you could also just run it down. That's cheating. <laughs> the tank up here and have a, have a local supply. Okay. Circuitry is fun, guys. It is fun, actually. Complicated as hell when you don't know what you're doing, but fun. <laughs> I'm not one of those intelligent people that went to school for this, so... Oh, I see. Only one belt of copper is coming through. I was like, why do we have so little copper? Oh, because of that thing that I did. Don't mind me. Oop, wrong place. No, don't, don't put it in there. Why? I was going to side feed it so it would be prioritized to the main transition. Right. That's <laughs> fine. That's why I moved over with the wrong place. At the very least, it'll give us like a lane and a half rather than just a lane. From the, I can't put well, but the look at how look at how full these actually are once they get drained. I know, but they back up pretty quickly once these trains here. So rather than uh, rather than doing that, I can't be bothered. Actually, they've, actually, they've reduced a lot since I was last here. They were always backing up. So, <clears throat> hey, no trains. JD and I were talking about this balancer, this eight to eight balancer, which mm -hmm. is totally wrong. Um. So wrong, in fact, that I'm going to delete my blueprint book and there was a grab a new that one. that you did that I grabbed the book uh, last last week, week before. And if you fed one belt, it wouldn't bounce properly. But uh, uh, and if it was like a six I don't lane, maybe one that was. I haven't told you because I'll just tell you now. Because <clears throat> um, I was about to tell <laughs> you, and then you were to talk about one of your belt bounces being wrong. But well, you probably found it already. Wait, wait, wait. You were talking about the 16 that JD and I were working on, right? No, no. It was a much smaller one. I think it was like 6 or 8. Aww. I have my 16, but it doesn't even fit right here. Otherwise, I'd place it down just to look at it because it's pretty. <laughs> um, but also, we don't need this anymore because this needs a 4 to 4 balancer now. Yeah, it's, it's changed a bit from its uh, requirement. <clears throat> from its original inception. Yep. Oh, crap. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, put those back. <laughs> Leave the iron flowing. <laughs> oh, I broke it. Oh. There we go. Do, 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 okay. Do, do, do. I unbroke iron. Oh, no. That's not going to work. Actually, yes, it will, because I only need a 4 to 4. I was like, my 8 to 8 won't fit here anymore. <laughs> there you go. Discord. What happened? Just sent you a thing on Discord. <clears throat> I took a screenshot of it being imbalanced. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That that one's <laughs> that one's way out of date. That yeah. was like so last week. <laughs> I took it whenever like two weeks ago when I was actually uh, streaming. I needed to balance. Of it. I don't know somebody just did a balance book. I'll grab that. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't trust my balancers. <clears throat> I found that they are not as balanced. The only balancers I know are two. Three and four. I don't. I don't go any any higher than that. Well, I know that the JD and I were talking about this. The wide one, the one that was right here, that's an eight to eight. Yep. does not work. 
the 8 8 balancer that is a long, thin one, mm-hmm. which is in my new blueprint book, if you want to grab it out of my inventory, um, does work. And also, um, it works pretty well for the 16. But the 16 is rather ridiculous, so, you know. Speaking of ridiculous, <laughs> I'm going to priority feed in the excess ore. Request copper ore. 